Hello everyone and welcome back to the weekly pack of Super Auto Pets. Uh, this week was pretty easy, but also this is probably the most scuffed gameplay of uh, Super Auto Pets you're ever going to see. I made so many blunders in this run. Uh, I, I must have been like half asleep. It, it was... It was rough. So I start out with putting the snails, uh, the, the cone snails at the back, which, you know, makes it so that they don't actually put health anywhere. Uh, and then we have the groundhog giving a trumpet, which will allow for the pied tamarind to use its um, uh, ranged attack, at, uh, uh, snipe attack, whatever we want to call it. It deals three damage to a random enemy. I get the cone snails in the correct order. Combine. Wasp, not super interesting. But it's like, hey, we have a Pied Tamarin. Let's go ahead and level up. Baboon's not going to be super helpful for what we're doing. We'll grab another Groundhog. And I think about the squid, but like, then the trumpets wouldn't be working for the Pied Tamarin. Um, but basically, turn one, I saw those Pied Tamarins, and it's like... Yeah, we're going to go for the Pied Tamarin achievement because it's part of the weekly, you know, so. Uh, it won't be the first time I got the Pied Tamarin to level three, but uh, it, I, I went for it in this uh, pack. Uh, I just went with the possum because it like, you know, nothing super interesting. Uh, start up another Pied Tamarin for, uh, you know, leveling up. And I figure for now, let's go with the rat just for some good stats and we'll throw a honey on for a little bit of extra stats. Don't need it anyways. Here, I think about the pineapple since it's a snipe attack. And then because it shows it to me again, I'm like, yeah, I should go ahead and grab one. <laughs> Just none of these roles I was super interested in. And then finally it's like, okay, here's a clownfish. I'll get rid of the rat. Is that what I end up doing? Oh, no, I, I went to end turn and it's like, okay, let's sell the cone snail and, and get the um, clownfish. Very, like, I was so, I, I was waffling about quite a bit here. Uh, I think the Pied Tamron hit the... Blowfish causing for <laughs> uh, me to lose because I got hit by this blowfish snipe. Uh, and here, it might seem a bit strange that we're buffing the weaker of the Pied Tamarins, but uh, when we do the combination, it's going to get buffed by the Clownfish. So that would have more stats. So we're, we're trying to buff the one that's going to end up with more stats. Um, we level up into a lion. And just because I haven't seen anything, like, super strong in this pack so far, it's like, okay, let's go with the lion, level up, double level up, and we get another lion, so it's like, yeah, let, let's go with the lion. That'll, that'll be a good uh, pet to use to help along this tamarind, right? But then, on this next turn... <laughs> Or two turns out, you know. Manatee's in the pack, but I don't think there's banana, so the banana tea strat isn't something to be done. Level up into moose, and like, I forgot about the lion ability already. It's like, oh, yeah, let's freeze the moose, because that'll be super helpful. It wasn't. <laughs> So, Niala and Nurse Shark were in this pack, which is like, a th that combo is just so ridiculously broken. It's very fun, but also it's very broken, and Nurse Shark needs to be reworked. I have no idea what they were thinking with buffing the Nurse Shark. Like, it was already strong, and then they went and buffed it, and it's like, oh, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's, a, that's a thing you can do. 
So I get rid of the groundhog for the Niala because I, I still didn't notice that the lion didn't get its buff during that fight, right? I'm grabbing freeze targets and I roll end up with a tier one. So I only get a one one buff from the moose. And that's when this time, the second time that happened, I noticed, oh, my lion didn't get buffed. So I was like, okay, I need to sell the Niala. I need to sell the moose. Because I was definitely depending on that lion for the stats. Probably should have grabbed the penguin, honestly. Penguin would have been a pretty decent scaler, but also like everyone goes penguin. So yeah, it, it, it and I think when I did the lion achievement, uh, I had giraffe, penguin, lion, like it, it would have been the same team again, basically just with a pied tamer and a log for the ride. Uh, so the scuffness is basically over at this point. I, that, that just so many early mistakes so many late mistakes um or mid-game mistakes we finally have a trumpet <laughs> being generated for the pied tamarind to do its thing but also it's only nine damage from the pied tamarind it's not that much you know go ahead and level up this link and i'm like okay uh, sorry, it would have been, instead of 9, it would have been 18 damage. But still, it's not that much damage. So, uh, I decided to switch it out for a melon and give it some protective armor, you know? Because it's starting to get beefy. It'll, it'll do better like that. And since I got rid of the pineapple, it's like, yeah, let's get rid of the groundhog. You know, a little tiny unit. Let's get um, links for a decent amount of damage. Teams this week, we were either extremely strong. Like, here's two moose, Niala, uh, Nurse Shark. That's, that's the group. Or very weak, like not cohesive whatsoever. And I, I had the not cohesive whatsoever team this week. So um, it, it just sort of worked. <laughs> I was figuring out my order there, like with the lynxes, like which order did I want to go with? I, I ended up doing like backline protection, but there wasn't crocodile or tomato. So I don't know what I was like worried about there. Anyways. Level 3 Pied Tamarin. We got the win. So, yeah. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this week's very scuffed uh, playthrough. Uh, I will be back next week for another weekly pack playthrough. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.